Whoa, that took a little bit to come in. Hey, hey, welcome to this episode of Inside the Brick Box Lego Community News, where we'll share all the Lego news from around the world. Uh, tonight in the show, we've got Douglas along for the ride. Hello. Oh, yes, <laughs> down there. <laughs> Uh, he's always my co-host every week. He's very reliable, that boy. <laughs> uh, tonight in the show, we'll be looking at uh, the Lego City Mars Explorer minifig pack. Uh, also look at the new Lego Park set. Um, ooh, some good news about the Seasonal Dragon um, boat set. Um, the next... Lego set to hit 10,000, or oh, next Lego design to hit 10,000 supports in Lego's ideas. Oh, Lego's ideas, 10 years anniversary fan vote. And then we'll find out the results from the last Lego's ideas. This and much more on this episode of Inside the Brick Box <laughs> Lego Community News. Woo! That's a mouthful. That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I actually got it all down with our tongue tie for once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's get straight in the news. I'm not sure if anyone's in the chat yet. If you're in the chat, guys, please shout out that you're in here. It's nice to see everyone along for the ride. If not, comment below after the stream if you're watching this and um, posting um, what you think, what you th thought of um, all the different topics we talk about tonight or news articles. Uh, let's get this on screen share. Make sure I screen share. Yep, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so starting off with Lego City Mars Explorer Minifig Pack. So, um, yeah, we're going back to space again um, later this year. So in this set, if it, let's see, oh, there we go. She shit was blurry for a bit there. Oh, conveniently, Flickr's going to go down. <laughs> so let's get this through. I've got a lot to go through. Uh, so we got four minifigures and some awesome, cool new things as well. Uh, these new little rock pieces down here. Did you see those, Jigglers? Which ones? Oh, The new little yeah. rock piece. Oh, it's like a geode. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I need a few hundred of them. And it comes with a laptop as well. And more Some solar panels. Solar panels. Yeah. I put bets those solar panels are printed. Yeah, hopefully they are. I, I put bets are printed because I've never come across stickers. Oh, some of the police said, oh, maybe they are stickers. We won't know. Uh, so we've got a scientist... And two astronauts, one being a female, one being a male. They're hard to see, but yeah, the Ninjago. Ninjago used them a lot, the old solar panels. Yeah. Um, and then we have a engineer or a mechanic or whatever you want to call them with um, goggles. The goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> now, if I remember, is it back front? Yeah, backwards. So, this is a bit of short of the. Oh, we get the freckle girl face again. Which one? The new freckle face. Oh, yeah. It's got yeah. freckles on its nose, which is mm. the non existent nose. <laughs> non existent nose. And they. I see, I see they're recycling the same face for the female scientists again. 
Then it's I think that's face. a new one. That's a new face, I think. And I think the torso is a new print too, from the look of it. Because it's got the um, ID card thing on it. And then we have a spacesuit, what looks like it's supposed to be like a modern one, with an orange visor. And the female has another different space again, what's orange, with a blue visor. So, interesting. Oops. Always go too far back. And those are the things what each one has an accessory of. So, hmm. I, I like how I like how Lego cheaps out with one of them. Just gives it a spanner. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're the tool. You get the spanner. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, no, that's the new set coming out. I think that's due out July, I think, was the date, if I remember rightly, here in Australia. The same month, same month as um, Harry Potter. So, yeah. So that'll be a $15.99 set. Um, hopefully it's not too popular and you can wait until it drops down to the $10 mark. Yeah, I reckon you could do. <laughs> At this rate, I think even Benny's, Benny's Space Buddies will get to the um, discount rate. Yeah. True. Okay, moving along. Lego Land Puck. Official set images. Um, this is the Lego Land exclusive set. Um, only way to get the set is through Lego Land. Will this be one of those exclusives that goes worldwide on both? Yeah, it'll go worldwide through the Lego Lands only. No, but I mean, will you be able to get this at Lego Shop at home? Because there's no, no. So this one won't be. This is a true exclusive. Yep. So you get you get um, part of it. You get the Lego Land entrance. What you can actually change the names on the front of one of any of the Lego Lands around the world. There we go. You know, it'd be funny if they accidentally put put down a Lego land that they haven't built yet. Uh, would you believe they do? Is that New York? Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and just note, that's not New York City. That's New York, the state. Yep. They've got Berlin, Japan, Malaysia, Dubai... Dutchland, Windsor, New York, Florida, and California. So you can, and if you don't use the stickers, you can use it as a checklist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where haven't I been? <laughs> then you get a cool little, it's like a shop display. With two by, was it two by one? Um, bricks with stickers you can put on of Ninjago, City, Friends, Duplo, and Creator. Okay. And then you get your ticket booth. Interesting. Nuts. Another sticker. What a shame. 
Yeah. Oh god, a baby change table, Diggers. Oh, how awesome! <laughs> it's lucky because I'm getting a few too many babies. <laughs> And no one saw that. That's good. <laughs> uh, park bench. We'll keep my Ninjago dogs. Couple, a couple of um, kids dressed up. <laughs> a toilet with no door. Because oh, that's the way you like down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think that's supposed to be like the viewing tower. Yeah, so you can see people go on the toilet. <laughs> oh, my God, look, another person's going. Oh. <laughs> What's happening there? Some pictures missing. Must be the other way. Oh, there we go. And then... Uh, ah. Oh, they don't have much detailed photos of the rides. So there's... Oh, they go mini land? Yeah, I've seen... And they've got a couple of rides as well. I wonder why, I wonder why they don't have... It must have been the only up close images what were released from the look of it. I have seen pictures of those bits and pieces. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to split that bit up. That link go to. Oh, that's the box image. Looks to be a half decent sized box. Mm. As it says, Lego Land exclusive. No. So that's 40346. Sheesh, that's a weird number. Yeah, usually those exclusives have really long numbers. Hmm. Yeah, but you, the four at the beginning is a weird number. You don't usually see fours. It's usually um, ones or twos. Yeah, with a heap of zeros. <laughs> mm. so that one's coming out soon. Hmm. This is very strange. The chat's quiet tonight. No, it might be because what's his name's Dan streaming. Uh, I wish people would stream other nights. The Saturday and Sunday, what people don't do. Same as Monday and Thursdays. Okay, let's move along. Not bitching. <laughs> okay, seasonal uh, dragon boat race shit. Uh, Chinese dragon boat race. Oh, damn it. Boat races. I knew the tongue. Tw yeah, I know. I know. I know. Douglas has got it. Uh, set will be available worldwide on the on June 1st, so stop crying. It's coming. And Chadston, they might still have some of these little piggy pigs. Left. Oh, just went. Can wave at you. Yeah, Hello. we've got those too. Hello. Let me get back into focus. <laughs> <laughs> Never wants to go into focus. Wink, Hello. wink. wink, wink. I'm trying wink. to think. I think mum's got one of those. Yeah. I bought a really ton weird. of pick a brick one day. And the nose is a printed piece. <laughs> so there's actually rumors behind the set it's not gonna be a limited run as everyone keeps saying. 
Yes. It is an unlimited run, people. It yeah. will come out. It will come out to major retail. Well, actually, Toy World, just ordinary Toy World at New Seville on the Sunshine Coast has got the set out already. Yep. And they're not supposed to have it, have it out until the first. So, yeah, uh, lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it'll be out worldwide on the 1st of June. Uh, it's currently listed for UK, France, and Germany and other world markets. US and Canada aren't listed yet, but I assume they'll be up when June ro rolls around. Yeah, usually that's what happens. If not, there might be July. It just depends. Um, these sets are produced um, here in um, China in our region, so no, they would take the, a bit to be the, 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 out. the US isn't getting it. Hmm? <laughs> I know everyone's supposed to be getting it. But it would be part of the Lego announcement of region, <laughs> the region exclusive stuff stopping. Like, sorry, US, you miss out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't stand the crying again. <laughs> sorry to my American viewers out there, but <laughs> it's it's fair game. Love of war. You've had poly bags for how many decades now, and we haven't. Was at least two bags. decades and no poly bags in Australia. We're getting poly bags now. Yeah, okay. we're only just starting to go now. But we still don't get as many as they have in the US. So this should be in stores, hopefully in the future. Um. This, yeah, this is after what happened with the original Chinese New Year sets and the Lego Movie 2 Brickheads and the 20th anniversary Dark Vader bus, who everyone didn't care about that Dark Vader bus. <laughs> um, being exclusives. So, yeah. So don't, don't expect any more of these stupid... Um, exclusive crap they've been having. Um, oh, that's the other thing I, I, I actually haven't said. Uh, the other day here in Australia, uh, what's the name of it? Fallout? No, not Fallout. Overwatch. Yep. The, the Overwatch <laughs> sets are now officially in EB yep. and Zing stores. Yep. I went into an EB today and they had the sets. So... Sadly, the one up the Sunshine Coast hadn't had them yet when I went in on the weekend. They probably haven't by now. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have to check them out next week. They had them in the glass behind the counter, which is something I can't figure out. Weird. You think oh, but the... was yours the EB? Yeah, it was an EB. Yeah, that's Zing. probably right. Uh, Zing, Zing stores are supposed to have them out on the shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've just found that a bit strange, putting it behind glass where you'd put, like, normally the expensive Pokemon collector's cards and stuff like that. Actually, surprisingly, they don't do that anymore. How do they leave them out now? Yeah, yeah. They leave it usually right beside their um, counters now. Yeah. Actually, I would understand them being behind the glass in the EB store because they don't have the security thing in the EB stores. No, the one... I went into that's got a beeper thing at the door, but oh, oh mine in, doesn't. That's not in a shopping center. That's in a like a homemaker center. Yeah, no, I one, I one, um, Vicky Point doesn't have the beepers. That's a, that's the reason why, why everything's not on the shelves. So, so keep your eyes out for that, guys. So that that is. Is another bit of an interesting change. Um, my guess Overwatch didn't do well on um, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon <laughs> just not doing well in Australia. <laughs> mm. 
Well, the number one problem with Amazon in Australia is people don't want to spend their money in an overpriced online store. Which, yeah. They, they That's basically been... it is in the Australia. Yes, use yeah. people over in, the, over in the Europe and the Americans have nice, cheap and affordable Amazon. Not here in Australia. Sadly not. Yep, they deviated from their business model and then they'll send them under. Yeah, a big rip-off merchants over here. Yep. Okay, let's move along. <laughs> okay, another set hits the 10,000 supporter mark for the next mm -hmm. um, round of reviews will be later on this year. Seriously? Um, Lego's Ideas, UCS, Space Shuttle, Atlantis. It's not going to get get anywhere. <laughs> oh, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> what is what has Lego just announced as a creator set? The Moonlander. Yeah. So they they've brought NASA in house now. So I cannot see this being an idea set. Yeah. True. So yeah. So they got this awesome set, uh, this design one. Even if it did get through, it won't look the same. <laughs> yeah, especially that nose. That yeah, yeah, that could be done so much I mean, better. Does it tell me how many parts this one was? No. So yeah, so this is this is one of the new ones. Um, I think this is about the third one now. What have come up to the mark? Um, does it does it seem like um, Lego's idea sets are getting quicker and quicker, hitting that ten thousand mark? Yeah, pretty much. It's like it's like it's not just one. It's like boom, 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 boom. You have six or seven ready for the next selection phase within like weeks of each other. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's definitely got there, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue on with Lego's ideas part of it. Uh, the other day, Lego's ideas announced a ten-year anniversary fan vote to construct, or well, re, re, um, judge. Um, I think it's four sets. What were previously knocked back um, for um, the arcades? Yeah, but everything else, no. <laughs> you wouldn't guess which one I voted for. Which one? The arcades. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we have um, small yellow. What's the model by similar model to what sent? Sam, why did I call him Sam? Sean, um, damn it, what's his name again? Uh, Ryan McNaught? Yeah. <laughs> no, not Ryan Moore, but he's like the equivalent right north in New York. He's from New York City, but that's not his model. Someone else did this one. No. Um, then you have the ISS. International Space Station. Stitch. No, nah, another Disney so, thing. So that uh, that must have pre because um, what I read up, all these actually have pre-approval. Yeah, it's amazing. Though. So they're already yeah. approved, but what we see won't be the finished thing. And then we got the Sega Classic Arcade Machines. So those are going to be your four choices. Um, voting has started. You got until the 4th of June to vote. You only have one vote. So vote very, very carefully. You only get to vote once, do you? Yeah. And whichever um, one... Oh, is it any? 
I think it's just whichever one gets the most votes gets done. Yeah, as it says, there are four projects that have been pre-approved by the review board, which you can vote on. So, um, yeah. So go ahead, uh, head over to Lego's Ideas um, page and start voting. Continue on with the theme of Lego's Ideas. You think it's done, but it isn't. We finally get the um, Lego's Ideas review video came out. Was it this morning, I think, or late yeah, last about, night? About 20 hours ago. So Yeah, yeah. something like that. Something ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, the Dinosaur Fossil Skeleton Set to become the next Lego Ideas set. Um, yeah. Beating mm -hmm. out someone else's set who's going to be really annoyed at the moment. And oh, I don't want to say it, but I know you're going to say it. I'll say it. Twice in two weeks, a dinosaur has done him in. <laughs> oh, so if you don't know who we're talking about, if you haven't seen Lego Masters, this guy on the show called Cal, he's with Billsy in the builds. And, yeah, yeah. He, he got done over by a uh, dinosaur in the show and got knocked out. And just ironically, it happened again. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just one of them things you couldn't, you couldn't imagine it happening. <laughs> Could have had. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, the piano, the, work, the real working piano is still going further review. So this is the reason why it took so long for the review to come through. This They were yeah. trying to decide on this one yeah, as well. It got, it got voted in so fast. It's one of them mm. things they can't ignore it. Yeah. That's what it comes and to. And I think what's happening is I think they're trying to work out how to make it, make it go to production as cheap as possible but not without destroying the original design. Yeah. And it has to work. That's the problem because this yeah. is a working piano. So that they'll be still going through the the phases of seeing will it work because um, a lot of people don't know in the reviewing stage to actually try and replicate the models in Lego's really tight knit um, builds and the goal is to see if those models will work to the limit limited amount of parts they can use yeah so that's the reason why a lot of a lot of sets get knocked back is because of the usually the part count or they just use too many rare parts yeah. or are just very costly to produce too many different parts in general yeah, that too. So the, the, basically what they're doing is continue through. Um, Doctor Who had the same problem. Um, it wasn't just parts. It was actually getting the license at the time. They were already um, working on getting the license for um, Lego Dimensions at the time. And, yeah, that was the only reason that set got through is because they just secured the rights to it and just took a little bit a little bit longer for the licence to fold over and actually start through Lego. That's the reason why um, the Doctor Who one took so long. Um, I'm trying to think. There was one other set. Um, was it the Flintstone set? No. No. Oh no 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 um 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 um, um, um. oh what's the lion mech zoid thing um Voltron Voltron that was the other one what took a long time um that one was designing as well um they were having problems when they were designing that was trying to get the connections to work on it the Voltron had to assemble 
and be able to be deassembled. And that was the reason why that set took for so long to um, end up working out. That's the reason why it got those weird connectors on it. So, yeah, that was that was a fun set they go to, took in the mind to create and, and build. So, yeah. So that was an, another Lego's ideas construction thing that took a little bit longer to do. So hopefully the piano one might get through yet. Depends on if they can reproduce it with um, no issues. Um, but give it time. It'll come. So, yeah. Well, that was a very short news week this week. <laughs> so I take it the Lunar Land is still a no-go in Australia? I have not heard anything about it yet. Ooh, haven't you heard about this one yet? No. You know, some pictures came out in Europe. I don't I doubt they're official, but yeah. Yeah, Lego that's probably Lego. why. Yeah, Lego I don't, I don't share, share uh, um, things until they're official. Apparently, yeah, Lego's doing a Lunar Lander, which is why I said before with the space shuttle, looks like Lego's taken NASA in-house. Yeah. So I don't think oh. you can see I mean, any more spaceships or anything get through ideas. Oh, no, my luck will be up tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> news news has, has, has a way of coming out the day after I do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah the fun of doing lego news around the world um yeah uh don't forget uh we've got a lego show coming up in gladstone uh brick events uh, uh was it fifth seventh i think it was in my mind if i'm right yeah fifth no, no, six seventh. Sorry, what did I say? Fifth seventh, six seventh, or fifth? Was it fifth six? I can't remember. One of those dates, wherever that weekend is, uh, we'll be up in Gladstone doing our show up there. Tickets are selling very fast. All the VIP sessions are almost sold out as they have added on to them. So, um, hopefully, see you all up there. Um, Dark side will be up there as well. Um, I think that's yeah. all I can think of. There is one other one down here at um the yeah, Lego shop I go to. They'll be having their Lego Masters people there on Sunday. But he got a new Rick. Uh, Rick got a new Ryan McNaught sculpture. It's a life size um Nexo Knight. <laughs> And it looks great. <laughs> it is huge. <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely. If you're in that side, this side of Melbourne, that's might be something worth checking out. If you're into the the life size build, I uh, um question: Do they still have the um the model from Lego Master still on display at Chadston? When I was there yeah. last week, they had it on display. So yeah, you can still see yeah. the. Poseidon yeah. and the ship and all that. Yep. So if if you know Lego Lego Masters in Australia, uh, the winning model is on display down at Chadston at the moment. Um, so go and check that out as well. It's it's actually the Poseidon the God is an amazing build. The face on it, the way they've yep. done, the way they've used the wings for the whiskers and for the facial growth and stuff is just yeah it, it oh that's that that yeah. that's the other other thing um uh <laughs> damn it <laughs> what's his name again henry yeah. henry um actually if you you're following um Q, uh no oslug sorry oslug over on oslug he has some awesome models he's been building of um, reworking his Wild Wild West mock they did in the time, was it Time Warp? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Time Warp one um, from the show. 
Um, he's actually modified it to have so much awesome movement. What well, I think I'll have to steal from my own mum's display. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah, no, go check that out. That's something interesting. Um, I would like to share it, but I, I, I would like you to go over it. And also, um, if you want to be on Lego Masters, there is actually a couple of forum chats also over on Oslog. Uh, Kulak has one with Bilzy. Um, Kale's doing one on. Oslug and I think Henry was doing one as well, um, helping people uh, know the information of how to apply for Lego Masters 2. Yes, Lego Masters 2 Australia is coming next year. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, I still reckon they should do a Lego Masters kids, kids though. Yeah, I agree. That would be... A kids, a kids edition... Well, the show was open to um, 12 and older, but I think they couldn't get anyone in that age group. Yeah, I think that's something you'd have to do more at a school level, like yeah. put together school teams if they were to look at yeah. something like that. Actually, yeah, that would sound cool. Have schools against each other. That yeah. actually would be cool. That would be. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Like, hey, Masters, I know you watch my videos. If you're watching it, um, talk to me and Douglas. <laughs> we'll, we, we, we'll be the co producers. <laughs> Could still have Hamish as the host because, um, yeah, he would work. Yeah, Hamish works well with yeah. pretty much every age group. That's what I mean. Yeah. As much as everyone group. hates him for some weird reason. <laughs> I think you'll find that – what was he on? He was on Fox FM or whatever it is. The You'll find most of the people who hate him are your Triple M listeners, I reckon. <laughs> I'm a Triple M listener, but then again, I d I'm over Triple M at the moment because they got football on. <laughs> I hate when they put football on. Like, it's supposed to be a radio station for rock music and they put sports on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was for ABC. It used to be, but then um, any before yeah. worked with magic. <sighs> yeah, That's a bit off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, well, Speaking of yeah. which, the footy show got the flick down here, the, um, the AFL footy show. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yep, after, what, 25-odd years, it's finally, it's even longer, I think. Yeah, no, it's about 25 years, finally. It's like, see you later. <laughs> uh, they, they should have put that puppy down about 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, hmm. Trying to think of anything else, Lego thing we can talk for before we finish up tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah. I hate this time of the year. It's always too quiet for Lego. Oh, what I hate is sorting minifigure parts. <laughs> oh, you can come and sort my Lego parts if you like. They're just so small and fiddly, and it's just <laughs> especially when you just fill up one container, and it's like, oh yeah, I'll finally get around to sorting them. And then you find parts that have come out that you haven't allocated a spot to, and it's like, where, where am I going to? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> you get other small bits. Which you know perfectly well belong in one spot that you've already allocated, but then when you look at how much stuff's building up in it, it's like, no, nah, should I put this mm. little tiny piece in with all those big pieces? <laughs> and the answer is yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is annoying. 
As, as like with these drawers behind me, this is my sorting, if you don't know. Um, these are just the basic stuff. Like, I still haven't done the two-by stuff where in starting to put... Oh, where are they? These drawers were behind my brick badge here. Um, I need more of those for my two-by stuff. But it's getting ridiculously out of control. Especially, especially with 10 years worth of Lego. Unsorted Lego, I should refer. Yes. This isn't fun. Oh, I found more. Uh, there's nothing other than that. Um, something to do with the Lego game. Yeah, there's some new Lego game that, as they get more and more likes on Facebook, they're revealing They'll it. They'll announce it. They need to get to a thousand to do a proper announce. So, yeah, just go check out Lego. What's it called again? Out something adventures. I don't know. I'm on my phone. I can't look it up. Yeah, it's got a it's got a weirdish name. Just go check it out on Facebook and like it. Because the quicker they get a thousand likes, the quicker we find out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's probably going to be something silly again. Um, it's kind of kids based, of course, but it is mm. a kids story after all. I'm trying to think. Um, I know. Uh, uh, well, before we finish up, um, you've been the pick of Rick Wall lately down your end. <sighs> yeah. When I went to Chadston last week, um, I can honestly say it's crap at the moment. Uh, I haven't been to my Pick a Brick Wall, but uh, um, Pick a Brick Wall um, Facebook group have been posting up some photos. It seems like our manager, Scott, is keeping up with the really good stuff. Yeah. It'll be I nice don't know how it. he's done it, but we, we just keep getting good parts on the wall. It'd be really nice if they could get the big um big leaves down in Victoria. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we stole them all. Yeah, and even these sorts of leaves. <laughs> It'd be nice if we could get them. Sorry, we stole them too. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing there? I don't, I don't know what's with your 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 store. It seems like they're not even trying. It literally does feel like that way. It's like, well, we're a discovery center. We're all about the discovery center sort of things, and it's like the store can go jump. The store is just an afterthought. It's like it's like they're more 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 thinking. Oh, it's really for the kids. Yeah. Compared to our Lego store, they have gone totally a fall. They are so weird. supportive of of us a falls up here in Queensland. Well, that's what they've got to realise. They sell the Lego at full re recommended retail price. So the only real attraction they've got to get A-Foles in there is Pick a brick. without a kid to see Lego Discovery Centre. So the mm. only thing they've got are their exclusives and the pick-a-brick wall. Yeah. So they've really got to pull their... And that's the reason why our manager at um, Dreamworld, he's constantly... He talks to us. He says, oh, what do you like to see on the pick-a-brick wall? And surprisingly, he's come through with some awesome parts in the in the last probably uh, six months now. Yep. So, um, especially getting the lily lily leaves and um, the big leaves, uh, we've got awesome tile selection lately. We've had black tiles, one by fours. Um, green, dark green, one by fours. Um, windows, doors, door frames, glass. Um, for um, windows. Which lily leaves are you talking about? Are oh, you not talking lily pads like that? No, no, lily, lily leaves. The one what people call don dinosaur feet. Yeah, which is those ones. These ones. And fucking reach these. Yeah. Yeah. Them. Um. 
two. Yeah, pick up them. Oh, I'm trying to think what else is on the wall at the moment. That's actually a lot of gold. We've been having a lot of gold on our pickerick wall. If you look there on the box underneath the um the, con the control sort of thing, you'll notice there's another green li um lily pad. Oh yeah, yeah, which is good because hopefully Lego might realise that that's actually a really popular part of the ring mm. and we'll start sticking them in a few more sets. True. <laughs> um, you only actually, get two. You yeah. get two per Ninjago docks, and I think you got one or two with Ninjago City. What else is on the pick a brick wall? I'm trying to think. Trying to chew up some time. Oh, we've got um, bones, spider webs, spiders. Ah, oh, spider webs. I don't really care for that. Yeah, we got bones, the big long bones. You got those sorts of spider webs, or? Yeah, those ones. Yeah, I don't really see the point of those ones. Uh, we got, you know, the um, the oh, we call them um, the bars. You know, the it's like a fence, but it's like bars. The ones that you usually use for jails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we got them in gold. That's it. Yeah, but in gold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, green tiles. Uh, we got the lime green, like horse feeders. Uh, spy black spiders. Those uh, things. Yeah, them. Uh, I can't even tell what those are. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you know the the the, the crystals. Which sort? Um, the one that has like I think it's three or four little crystal things off the side. Yeah, them. Yep. That's all the stuff I'm sorting at the moment, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the yellow um, flower. Which flower? The um. Uh, the friends type click one. No, no, yeah. no, no. The friends type one. Is it the one that looks like a tap? Because that one there is different. No, it's more like a star. Oh, the star one? Yeah. yeah, it's like five points to it, but it's yellow. Yeah. Yeah, we got that one on our wall. Yeah, this one. Yep. Uh, no, that's not new, but we got the green. You know the, um, oh, what's it? Uh, angle? Plates, you know, the ones what have um, it's like a plate modified plate with um, two studs on a flat piece in green, so two by two by wall, two thirds, I think it is, two by two by two thirds, yeah. But it's it, it's a, a one by one by two um, plate, but the actual thing that has like a, it's like an angle bracket. Oh, the one it's like a yeah. T-shirt, the T-shaped one. No, 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 no. It's just an angle bracket, like an L one. So it's like a two by one plate, but then it has like a angle bit to the front with two. Yeah, but not that high. It'll be half that high. Oh, so the smaller one, that one. Yeah, but in green. We got that. Yep. Yellow tiles, surprisingly. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah, there's heaps of yellow at our store as well. Uh, a ton of purple one-by-one one rounds. 
Put. Dana, why we ended up with lime green two by one tiles? Ooh. Wheel hubs. Oh, we we got trans orange, um, brown two by two um, bricks with the axle thing in the middle in trans orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Periscope, we've had them for a while. Wheels, we had them for a while. Oh, uh, one by one, um, round brick in gold. One by one, round brick. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, the short fence piece. I'm talking about, you know, the um, like the lattice one. So, Not the picket one, the lattice one, but it's only the short one. That yep, one. that one. Yeah. Mud guards, we've had them for a while. Oh, train <laughs> windows. Uh, two by one with the – it's the frame. Not the not the solid one, you know. It looks like a a panel. Mm. It's a panel one with like a a frame. Oh, that window. Yeah. yeah. Looks like yeah. Looks like a panel, but it isn't. Um, a a, a panel. It's like got a cut out. Yes, it's similar to that. Uh, oh, we had um, brown antennas. Yeah, that's more more close to it. Yeah. But I was white and grey. Yeah, we've got white. Um, brown antennas. Um, actually, I could show you that one. You know what I'd love? If they got a clear antennas. Got these ones. Brown antennas. Yeah, I'd love it if they got them in clear. I've got uh, but uh, have you seen how hard, hard clear ones are to get? Oh, we had the two by um, one log p bricks, modified bricks. Two by one log. They're like they look like logs, but they're usually using the western ones. Yeah. Then we got the standard door frames and yellow um, doors. Uh, what else is new? Oh, the gold lattice window shutters. Yeah, we got them. White as well. tiles. I did grab a few of them. Yeah, white tiles. Uh, just trying to think. It's the new curve tile. I think it's. Two two by two round tile, but it's only like one wide, so the angle's like two by two, two by two, one wide, yeah, um, and it's in dark red. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got the you know, the top bits, um, the arch. Bits what uh, for above the windows or doors? Yeah, we got that in white. Certainly, that shape one. No, 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 no. It's got like the spokes, three spokes to oh, it. Oh, the bit that fills the bit that fills that gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can have a white mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that arch you showed before, yes, we got them too. <laughs> yeah, we got them on our wall as well. Yeah. Um, it's actually one yeah. of those parts I should go fill a cup up with because I do need a lot of them. Oh, we did have we did have um, trans. Um, uh, was it five by six um, panels? Trans clear. And I hear they f they oh, yeah. flew out the window, literally. Yeah, we had them down here as well, but they're just not very ergonomic when you're filling a cup. 
Yeah. Uh, three by four window frames, dark red two by two tiles, gold flags. I don't know why they got gold, but they got gold flags. <laughs> uh, what else is new? Must be some sort of shortage. I, uh, I'm not sure if that's reddish brown or dark orange two by one tiles. Maybe if I took this down in the Lego shop, I could fix it. <laughs> <laughs> um, two by one jumper plates in green. Oh, we've got them in yellow down here. Um, oh, we had pink ones of the, um, I think the fuchsia actually, you know, the round tiles, but the next size up. From the three, the, the two by two, I think the four by four arch. Oh, yeah. 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 Plunger. I love that. <laughs> um, arch pieces. I could work as a plunger. It's a very expensive plunger because it's the bowl from the Chinese New Year set. Oh, did you just <laughs> get the dome tops? Dome tops. The three by three. And they're like, um, each one creates a quarter of a dome. So you need four of them to make the dome. Um, where do I keep them? I don't think we did. But that's another part I actually need a few of. Red tiles. Oh, do you have those weird flower pieces? Yeah, them. Yeah. And white. Which Did you we... get those weird flower pieces where, like, uh, they look like a round two by two round brick, but they're not as high, and they have like four little lily pad things off them. Yeah, the old school um, fat ones. Yeah. The that type. No, 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 no. No, not that no the new one. Oh, the newer version of that. Yeah, it's 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 uh, like um, it's upside down how it's put together. But it's like a flower, but it's like a big flower. They did, they did have them, but I didn't. I yeah. thought they were the same as the old ones. I didn't grab any. I should grab some. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think that's everything new. What was on the wall? And just note, stock does keep coming in every month. So, yeah, keep your eye out. If you're coming up to the Lego store at Dreamworld, um, if you haven't been here but uh, up, to our dream world store before you don't need to pay to go into dream world it's just to the left side of the gate free entry for spawn have a cup of tea let's see oh god <laughs> um yeah and the same with the one down at um discovery center it's right beside the entrance in my right or the exit I have no idea. I haven't been to that one. <laughs> and bon and then um, the one and only proper Lego store is at um, Bondi Junction. Um, no, it's not Bondi Beach. It's at Bondi Junction. Damn. Totally you different mean, suburb. You mean we can't see it on Bondi Rescue? <laughs> no. I don't know. We're near it, actually. <laughs> I think it's like eight k's away or something. I remember measuring it up. Yeah, if you're in a city, eight k's like Sydney, that can be an hour or two hours away. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I think we'll wind up the show for tonight since I decided to do that to fill up the time. Um. Yeah. 
the hell are you putting it? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Fidiculous, for coming along, mate. Yeah, no problem. I always can trust you to be around. <laughs> if you're not, not on the show, you're always trolling us. <laughs> Don't forget uh, ABC TGI Friday. Uh, was it 9 p.m. start now? Yeah. Well, she's yeah. always been, she's been 9 p.m. for a while. But yeah. yeah. So 9 but p.m. start, be, uh, not like mine, what's 8 p.m. start. <laughs> um, yeah. So she's on Friday. Um, other than that, let's keep your eyes out for new content coming probably in July. Um, as, as you can see, lighting has improved. It will continue to improve with new equipment. I will be working on my set upstairs and my new build room in the coming weeks. Until then, guys, thank you for coming along. As I say every week, play well, keep on building. Until next week. Stay safe and keep on building. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I did stop broadcast. Bye. See ya. <laughs>